Hey guys, happy Friday night. It is Sonya coming to you live from Junk Monkey Paint Studio here. Um, this is what I do on a Friday night, right? It is, it is really, it's going down, okay? That's how exciting my Friday night is. Um, it's me here, me and Carrie. Carrie's packing and shipping, and um, I'm working on things behind the scenes. Hey, Caitlin. Hey, Damika. Thanks for being here, ladies. Love you, girls. Thanks, oh, for all the hearts and the welcome. Yeah, and you know how to make a girl feel good. Um, so, yeah, as you guys pop on, say hello and tell me where you're watching from. Hey, Nodi, how are ya? Brittany, how are ya? So, of course, I was at the thrift store recently and uh, found this little ditty. Found this little ditty, and uh, it is a mirror, okay? And a lot of times we walk past pieces like this because we're really not sure what to do with them. And I want to share with you what I'm going to do with this guy here. Because yes, I love to paint furniture and big stuff and all that good stuff. But I also like to do lots of the accessories and things like that, right? So this piece here I got for Olive, $2.99, which is totally my budget, right? Love it. Hey, Ravonda. Oh, I like that name, Ravonda. Wendy, how are ya? You love my painting? All right, well, this is a really, 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 really easy, I swear. Hey, Sarah from Michigan. Hey, girl. Andrea, Sonya with a Y. I still love you anyhow, even though Sonya with a Y. All right, let's get started. I'll show you what I'm gonna do on here, okay? So I'm gonna point you down here so you can see. Hopefully this view will work out. <laughs> Florida is in the house, absolutely. Hey, Lee, how are ya? Let me get set up here so you guys can kind of see what I'm working on tonight, all right? So how many times are you in the junk aisles? I've like whether it's Salvation Army, you know, that sort of store, Goodwill, you name it, and you find pieces like this, right? So let me go ahead. I'll pull up my laptop so I can see what you guys are saying to me tonight. How is everybody doing? Happy Friday. Yay, it's Friday. It is Friday. What are you guys getting into this weekend? Are you working on your Christmas shopping? I made my Wally World stop today. I swear, I don't think a day goes by when, when I'm not at Wally World. And um, so I was there today and everybody was out. I'm like, where the heck are all these people coming from? Okay, I think we're good here. Is that a good view for you guys? So this is Brownie Frowny, of course, right? And we want to make it all cute. I can totally see this being part of a, like maybe a gallery wall or something like that. I think that would be super, super cool. Um, or, you know, I mean, just a small piece to put on a wall. A lot of times we find pieces like this and we're like, what do I do with it, right? It's totally, totally small. Well, the cool thing is that if you have a smaller size wall, let me just get down like this. If you have a smaller size wall, then these sorts of size objects are going to be absolutely perfect. Um, so if you have like, you know how sometimes parts of your wall, if it's not really large, go with a smaller size object. Or if you have a bigger wall, put up a collage, right? So this would be a perfect thing just for that. All right. So what I'm going to do is put on a little bit of color because, you know, I like some color, right? This is brownie frowny right now. And I'm going to use a color from my stash. It is called Antique Lace, which is a beautiful, just basically a creamy off-white, okay? So for a lot of you guys that love farmhouse style, you're going to love this color because it just lends itself so nice to that neutral, but yet no yellows. So that's why it's one of my go-tos, okay? Love it. It is definitely one of my go-tos. All right. I'm not taping anything off. Nothing crazy. I can wave you, wait till you guys probably in the mirror. How weird is that? Have you ever seen if somebody like paint a picture of themselves in a picture, in a picture? I feel like that's what I've got going on right now, okay? That's what I've got going on. So what do you guys think? Yeah? You like? You like so far? This is just the shabby chip brush going over the brown wood, okay? All I gotta do is clean, okay? Well, in this case, all I did was dust it. True story. All I did was dust it. And I'm going to follow like the lines of the frame, okay? So this side, this side, this side. I'm not going to paint like all over the place like that, right? I want to be able to make it look professionally finished. So I basically, I view each piece as a part that I want to paint one piece at a time, okay? In the direction of that wood grain. So these pieces all go this way. So I'm going to try to actually straighten out a little bit of my lines with my paint. And again, I'm just using a shabby chip brush. So easy because, you know, it's not hard and it's only a dollar for this kind of brush. They're called shabby chip, as in Sonya's a chipaholic. 
kind of brush, okay? Easy peasy. All right, let's go ahead and get the side here a little bit. Let's get the side. All right. So did anybody see our home talk last night? It was the show where Matt decided to take off his shirt. That one. Anybody have any idea what I'm talking about? Good golly. I'm pretty sure history was made on Home Talk when Matt took off his shirt, okay? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Look how good that looks. Love it. So if you're thinking about like doing gifts and stuff for loved ones for Christmas, I mean, go out and find some stuff, especially, you know, think about what style they're into and even get a few pieces that you can kind of paint in a bit of a, a farmhouse style, all right? So I'm gonna leave it at that for right now, put my things aside, and let me go ahead and dry that real fast. before it was completely dry. The rest of it is dry. That's okay, so I'm gonna do some distressing because if you know me, um, yeah, we gotta do some distressing, right? So like I say, a tip is to do the distressing as close as possible. Let's make sure we're still going live. Yep, as close as possible to when you just finish painting it, it'll actually be easy, especially for a super uber distress style that you want, right? So this frame here, even though it was brownie frowny, it's got these beautiful indentations, this inlay in it, so I am going to take it every day, all day, all the way home, okay? Love it, love it, love it. And again, I only paid $2.99 for this piece, um, but I think it would be cute. Where would you put it to? I mean, you could put it, I guess, in a, like a bathroom wall. And, um, I mean, we could actually make this Christmas themed if we want, because if I were to take, like, um, maybe a little piece of greenery, put some holly berries on here, even a little bit of ribbon, plaid ribbon or something like that, it could really be a really cute Christmas layering piece. Um, you know, I'm just thinking about things you could do with it. I think I'm actually going to put a little design inside as well, just to give a little something something. Because, you know, I do like to do that. I know this table is all wiggly. I was talking about the wiggles the other night. I think we got the wiggles going on. All right, there we go, all right. There we go, awesome. I didn't even tape off the inside. I'm not worried about it. I'm doing it in a distressed style. So obviously um, there's gonna be parts where you know, you're not gonna see you're not going to see the inlay. If you see any of the brown, it's going to match up with all the brown pieces that I've exposed. So I think it's going to look really, really good overall, okay? So when I do pieces like this, I don't even bother to seal them because, listen, ain't nobody going to be licking or touching or sitting something on top of this, right? It's going to be going on a wall, looking pretty, looking all fine and fabulous. So you don't even need to seal a piece like this. I always tell people when they say, should I seal a piece? Well, you know, is it being used? If it's like things like a tabletop, an end stand, a buffet, heck yeah, make sure you do that, okay? So, I think I'm gonna put something on the inside here because, like I say, you know me, I just need a little color, need the funness in my life. So, let me pull out, I think I got one in mind that I really, really like. Let's find one of my transfers here. Can you guys see this one right here? This one is, it actually says Queen Bee, and then there's a bee. I absolutely love it. Hey, Linda, Linda, Linda. Thanks for being on here, girl, my chocolate tour friend. All right, so I think I'm gonna use the bee. You think that would be cute? Even though there's glass inlay in this piece, I think it would be absolutely cool. So I'm gonna pull out this guy here, and let's go ahead. Remember that these stencils are sticky, which is cool. So you can reuse them. This is how I store them. I have books like this that I store them. And um, for any of you who do, do chocolate tour, I'd be happy to put up the link so you guys can 
um, get these two because listen I am a low maintenance girl and uh, so for me having just a book to put them back into was awesome and not having to worry just about you know let's say not putting them back on their backing that sort of thing right all right let me find a place where I want to put this B I think I'm gonna put him kind of like catty corner let's just make sure his wings make contact down there so these are sticky transfers there we go now remember if you really wanted to I could have actually put a blackboard in here totally turn this into a blackboard like a chalkboard um, and maybe even put it on a stand like in the corner and, and wrote something on it if I wanted to go that way if you ever decide to do that I've done lots of ones like for example here's one behind me this is actually a mirror and this is in my store I use to sell my shirts, aprons, and bags in here. But if you can see, this actually is the same sort of thing. There's a mirror inside. I put a light layer of our black, black velvet down. I let that dry. Then I go back and I put another layer on. So I do two to three, okay, because I want it to be able to withstand any of the actual chalk sticks. And then I can write on it, wipe it, do what I want to need, do whatever I want to do, right? So when you see pieces like this, you can leave it as the mirror, but also know that they're also really cool chalkboards, right? If you want to do something like that. So here's my B. I've got a couple different colors, but I might stay just kind of like classic and clean neutral with this guy here. Um, so this is like, I've got lots of like teal, teals and grays and pinks and things like that. I've got a huge order of more paste on the way. But I think I'm going to use this one here. So it's basically like a really, really thick paste. And um, it's awesome. You basically push it through the screen. It's going to stick onto the glass, believe it or not, as well. You guys see that? It's just a really like thicker, it will actually, it reminds me of like marshmallow fluff, okay? That's exactly what it reminds me of. All right, so let's take this and squeegee it all over the bee, the queen bee. Has anybody tried chalk couture before I love it so fun and I'm drawn to like bees and mermaids got one actually I've got a design that is a unicorn what do you think I should put the unicorn on because I'm thinking about doing that one here soon I've been eyeballing the unicorn and I think unicorns and mermaids they totally go together right so if you have any ideas for what you want me to do with a big unicorn transfer, you'll have to let me know, okay, what you think I should put it on. But anyway, I'm, I've dropped this down. Can you guys see this here? It's just kind of down, squeegeed over the top of it. Hey, Joanne. Hey, Tracy. Brandy. Thanks for being here. And then all I have to do is let's pull the bee back. There we go. There we go. There we go. Ooh, let's pull it, pull it, pull it. And ta-da! Can you guys see that? It's a cute little bee on a mirror. So if you're looking to go like find gifts for somebody for like Christmas that's coming up, for a birthday, for anything, you know that you guys can do this sort of thing and it's no longer brown and frowny and it's no longer, you know, $2.99. Now you've added value, you've made it beautiful. You could do this in any color you want. Of course, of course, I toyed with the idea of doing like a teal or something tonight. But I'm just going to go with a classic, classic neutral, right? So how cute would this be as part of a gallery wall? And then all I have to do with this guy here is just wash him. And he's going to go back in my book, sit and look all pretty um, until the next time I get to use him, right? So that is it. I mean, how easy was that? Totally, totally easy. Let me talk to you guys real fast. Joanne, I think it is cute too. Let me see here. Let's see. Okay, work with me. I've got this new handy dandy, um, new handy dandy clamp. Woo! Can you order that stencil? Yes, you can. In fact, you know what, guys? I will put the link up here if you want to shop my online store. And then if, for me, I got into Chocotour because I think it's cool because I'm a DIYer. And um, I like this sort of thing because I would never be able to draw this. You know what I mean? and not everything that you do with a regular stencil, like the hard plastic ones, they don't give you this much detail, right? So I think it's really, really cool. Yeah, I've got a, a big stash and I've got the books that I keep them, keep them in. 
Um, and they, like, this is the first week of the month, so today, first day of the month. So they actually just released a whole bunch of new designs today. So make sure you go check it out. I'll put the link up here as soon as I get off if you guys want to go browse and shop. It gets delivered right to your door. They ship all across the U.S. Um, but they go quickly because people are just finding out about how easy um, they are to work with. So go grab them. Yesterday I did the mermaid. The mermaid is sold out. Um, you know, keep watching. I'm sure it will come back. I hope it will come back. And yes, Linda, you're right. Wash the chip brushes. Yep. Everything I do is water-based. I am just that person. I don't gravitate towards oil-based products. And so um, when I'm done, I'm going to go wash this. I'm going to go wash my brush. And tomorrow I can totally get into another project, right? So, so easy. But yeah, lots and lots of fun. So I'm calling this little guy done. And by the way, I can also take a Lysol wipe and just kind of clean up my edges around here. Um, if there's any like where I've got paint or anything on the edges right here of the actual mirror where the paint is sticking. But remember when you find these mirrors just as ideas that you can totally jazz it up, make it part of a gallery wall, make it, you know, put it on a smaller size wall that you need to fill out. Just kind of do a small collection of these. But like I said, the other way I've used mirrors when I found them at thrift stores is literally just put our paint or Jeff Monkey paint right onto the mirror itself, any color you want, and then just get a um, chalk stick that's going to show up on top of it. That's really all you need, and they come to like every single, thank you, Nancy. Oh, you're awesome for throwing that up for me. And then if you guys want to check out the Junk Monkey paint itself, go to junkmonkeypaint.com. So there you go. Is this a good idea? Hopefully I've inspired somebody to like, you know, look twice when you're out and about at a thrift store and all the mirrors that you can get for so cheap, like under $5, you can do amazing things with them and um, you can totally give them some new life, right? Gail says, went to your Chocotour site today, so many I want. I know, me too. So I, yeah, I collect them as well, right? So I just love putting a little bit of personality. I call it a little bit of personality on top of um, um, my furniture. So for a lot of people, they use them for signs and things like that. For me, because I'm more of a furniture person, um, I love to pick the ones that's going to look great on a corner. Um, you know what I mean? They've got some really cool, like, Hannah-style ones over there. I mean, they've got everything. Like, there's even, like, I think moose and bears and rustic, but yet also whimsical, like, you know, like unicorns. Do you guys want to see the unicorn stencil? I'll show you real fast. And then tell me where you think I should put it on. Like, what would you have in mind that you would see it on? And then we'll knock it out and we'll do it on here, okay? Give me a second. Let me get it. It's right behind me. <coughs> All right. This is the unicorn. How pretty is that? Hey, Rachel, how are you? Hey, Cindy. Yep, so easy. And then, um, you know, of course, when I do these on furniture, I'm going to want to seal them, so I let them dry really good. I do a light brush over um, to really seal them in with a piece, and then we're good to go, right? So I'm thinking even if I did, like, different colors and pulled down, I could even do, like, a rainbow unicorn. Eileen says a nightstand for a girl's bedroom. I think that would be really cool. That would be really cool. And what color would I do it? Like, maybe bubblegum pink? We do have a lavender brush, a blush. That would be really cool too, right? A headboard, a girly desk. How about we do one this week? I will go on the hunt for a nightstand. And then we can totally flip a girl's vanity. Yeah. Because I'm thinking, like, this is a time, a lot of times when my customers will contact me and they're looking for furniture to go into rooms. And actually they make furniture a part of Christmas gifts for, um, yeah, like their daughters, you know, the teens, the girls' vanities. All that sort of stuff. So I think it's time to break the unicorn out. I think he needs to break out. All right, headboard. Yep, I agree. So what do you think? Should, would you paint the, the project pink or lavender blush? I'm thinking that would be cool, right? Or, like I say, this would be cool too. I have this bubblegum pink. So can you imagine a bubblegum pink unicorn? Maybe even on a black thing, right? That would be so, so cool. Lampshade, anything you want, you can put it on. It's amazing. It's amazing. All right, well, I'm going to jump off of here real fast. But thanks for hanging out with me for a little bit. My project is done. Like, how quick is that? Totally done and dry. You don't even need to seal it. It's okay. All right, you guys have a terrific Friday. Friday! Yay! Evening. And uh, I'm sure I'll see you guys on here again tomorrow, all right? Rainbow, I like it. I like it. I'm going to do that. I keep all my stencils, Gail, and this handy dandy, I'll post a link if you guys want to right here in this video as soon as I get off. It's a big portfolio 
And um, when you get your stencils, like you remember the gingerbread one I did the other night with Louisa when we baked? These are all the parts of it. It goes back in here again. I can just pull them off and use them over and over again, right? So just make sure you take good care of them so that way um, they last you a long, long time. So got to go put the bee in water. He's probably not going to be happy, but we got to get him off. All right, talk to you guys later. Maybe see you tomorrow. Bye.